Yesterday, some news about a post credit scene for Captain America Brave New World came out. You might have heard it, but after many different insiders came out and said that they heard that the leak is true, that they've all heard the same thing. This is the post credit scene and the ending and the post credit scene are going to set up one specific thing, one specific project. And that specific project is going to be a World War Hulk project. Now, this is not the first time that we're hearing about a World War project being in development at Marvel Studios, but it is the first time that we've heard about it in a while, especially after Marvel Studios decided to reveal that Robert Downey Jr. was returning as Doctor Doom. We know that Marvel Studios has basically been deciding over these past few months what they want to do with the MCU in Phase 6, which projects they want to do, which ones they want to keep, which ones they want to scrap, which new ones they want to add. And we didn't really see World War Hulk making it, but according to some insiders, the ending of Captain America Brave New World and the post credit scene will help further connect the movie to the overall multiverse saga plot. These insiders have also confirmed that a plot leak that was posted a couple of days ago by somebody who said they saw the unfinished visual effects version for test audiences is real. So today we're going to go over what the post credit scene is going to be and what the entire plot leak for Captain America Brave New World is going to be. So. Warning, if you do not want any spoilers, there's a decent chance since many different insiders like Charles Murphy, Daniel RBK, and a few others are saying this is real, that it is indeed a legit leak. So this is your spoiler warning. If you don't want any spoilers, we're going into it right now. So the post starts and it says the movie was shown recently, unfinished VFX for test audience. Here's the plot breakdown slash review of the movie. The movie opens with Sam on a mission going after the Serpent Society. They were supposed to lead Sam and Joaquin to the buyer of the package, which is adamantium. Giancarlo Esposito's character, Sidewinder, has some nuns hostage and spouts very generic villain dialogue, secure the package, take no prisoners, etc. Then it says, Sam fights Serpent Society dude with golden fang knives. The guy has super soldier strength but Sam beats him before more soldiers arrive. Sidewinder gets away. Sam takes Joaquin to be trained by Isaiah Bradley, followed by a training montage with Sam and Joaquin and Isaiah throwing around punching bags. Sam is invited to the White House. He decides to bring Isaiah and Joaquin and they party in a limo on the way to the White House. They take a picture with President Ross, played by Harrison Ford, of course. President Ross tells Isaiah, I gotta do the trick and pony show, but stick around, I want to get to know you better. Ross and Sam meet up and tells him, I need you to lead the Avengers. Sam goes, what if we don't see eye to eye? Ross replies, then we'll figure that out together. Ross is almost assassinated by Isaiah Bradley, as well as other mind-controlled soldiers and security guards in the room. And I mean, at this point, they've showed us this all in the trailer already, but they continue and say, Sam chases Isaiah out into the streets, where Isaiah comes to and doesn't know where he is. He is arrested. Sam and Joaquin look at security footage inside the White House and see that Isaiah looks down at his phone and is hypnotized by flashing lights. Sam and Joaquin decide to get to who is behind all of this and come across Tim Blake Nelson as the leader with a weird molded on brain shaped rubber cap and slightly green skin. The leader has been visited by Ross many times because Ross was dying and turned to the leader to help him, which in turn causes him to hulk out if his blood pressure raises. And the person adds a note here that says Ross has to eat lollipops as a form of medication, I think. So they're unsure about that. But taking a slight break right here, this is pretty much what we expected to happen. We heard a leak forever ago that Thunderbolt Ross was going to die, and in order to save him, that is essentially how he got the serum that turns him into Red Hulk. So although we know Ross really likes the serum and wants to perfect it, he did not willingly take the serum himself to see what it would turn him into. He did it because they needed to save his life. And it sounds like the leader might have actually given him the serum without him really knowing or consenting to it. But either way, we get Red Hulk, which is super cool. But then we go to Ruth's character, Sabra, and they say she starts to take Isaiah Bradley into containment after another mind-controlled attempt assassination in prison. He goes, I will not be locked up in that box again. Ruth decides to also track down breadcrumbs leading to the leader where she comes across and very briefly teams up with Sam and Joaquin. 
They go to Stark Technologies, where they meet Amadeus Cho, who is the smartest engineer there. Now, if you caught my video yesterday, you might have heard that a new Hulk is coming in the form of Amadeus Cho. His mother was introduced in Avengers Age of Ultron, Dr. Helen Cho. She was being mind-controlled until the Scarlet Witch freed her, and she was basically responsible for Ultron not being able to get into the Vision's body, or at least played a big role in delaying him. Ultron attacked her, but she survived, and at the end, we saw her with Maria Hill, and she was working working for the Avengers at the Avengers compound. So it looks like her genius son followed in his mother's footsteps and now works for Stark Technologies. So they go to Stark Technologies where they meet Amadeus Cho and Sam says something about Pepper, but he says they never see her. President Ross is bunkered down away from danger and is trying to get the world leaders to agree on a peace treaty and is having trouble with Japan getting on board after Japan thinks America robbed it of its adamantium. This leads to Sam Wilson and Joaquin Torres, aka Captain America and the New Falcon, meeting up with President Ross as American battleships and Japanese battleships fight with each other in a big set piece near the hand of Tiamat in the Indian Ocean, the celestial sticking out of the water from the Eternals. Then they say there's a big CGI-filled action scene that ends with Falcon falling out of the air into the water, but then is rescued by a medic. As Falcon is in the hospital recovering, Bucky swings by to check in on Sam, makes a speech, jokes about how it was written, then says he has a fundraiser to get to, and that is it. That is his cameo. And keep in mind, when I say Falcon, I am talking about the new Falcon, Joaquin Torres. Ross finds out he is being set up by Stern to make Japan and the other world leaders not want to work with him because of something, he says. Something to do with the Serpent Society still in Adamantium, he doesn't exactly remember, and he says that it wasn't actually made very clear. To this person's knowledge, that is. But it continues, but Ross goes to a press conference at the White House where all of a sudden, the leader's mind control sound starts playing through the speaker, eventually causing Harrison to hulk out. Sam meets the leader who admits his evil plan and thinks Sam will die because he's not Steve Rogers. But then Sam says, I love to prove people wrong. Sam, aka our new Captain America, shows up to the scene and the Red Hulk and Sam tear up the White House. They eventually start hashing it out and the fight culminates with Sam stabbing one of his wings into Ross's side, which causes him to transform back into President Ross, but he's all scratched up. He doesn't have the same invulnerability that Hulk has. It ends with Ross being locked up in the raft, and Sam says, how does it feel to be locked up? Because Ross is the one who locked Sam and others up in the raft before. Ross says, well, at least I'm safe. And they say they made a point to have Sam literally say to the president, thank you for taking accountability for your own actions and turning yourself in voluntarily where Ross is then met by his daughter, Betty. Sam visits Joaquin Torres, AKA the new Falcon in the hospital. They joke about Torres being from Miami and visiting Wakanda to get new wings. And apparently that is the movie, but then we have the mid credit scene. And they say, Sam visits the leader in the raft, mentions something about giving Hulk juice to Amadeus Cho, and Stern goes, something big and bad is coming. And Sam says, I'll be ready. The person who posted the leak says, no one else shows up. I don't know if this is referring to Dr. Doom or incursions or what. The leader is supposed to be all knowing, but they did a weak job portraying that. Now they go on to talk about their own personal opinion on the movie. I'm not going to go over that because even though we have what I believe is a pretty legitimate plot leak here, I'd still like everybody to make up their own minds and go see the movie for themselves. However, they do say that the highlight of the movie is the battle between our new Captain America and Red Hulk, which that's what it's being teased, so yeah, I would assume that would be the highlight. But it is cool to know that they are going to try and link this more to the multiverse saga. Now, specifically, Daniel RPK said on his Patreon that the ending and post credit scenes for Captain America Brave New World after reshoots set up a World War Hulk project and adds more connectivity to the multiverse saga. So it does sound like Amadeus Cho does get some type of Hulk juice or serum, and he will be another Hulk. Obviously, Bruce Banner's Hulk is going to be in the equation in some way, shape, or form, of course, for the next Avengers films. We have She-Hulk, we have Hulk's son, Scar, and now we have Red Hulk. So like we've been talking about for a pretty long time now, this World War Hulk project isn't exactly going to be like the comic story, but more like a project where there are going to be a lot of Hulks fighting, either each other, together, fighting something bigger, like Doom. We're not really sure at this point in time, but considering how strong Doom is, it would make sense that all of the Hulks would try to come together 
to simply outbrute Doom. And we're not really sure what Doom is going to be like. We're not really sure what this variant of Doom, what his powers are, what his background's going to be. But if he has sorcery, and if he has a lot of technology in which he's replacing Kang, so I'm sure he's going to, I don't think pure force alone is going to be enough to defeat Doom. And as everybody is mostly assuming at this point in time, the Avengers lose to Doom originally, much like they lose to Thanos originally in Infinity War. They will lose an Avengers Doomsday and that will set up the events that follow leading up to Avengers Secret Wars. So Daniel RPK, Charles Murphy, and Alex Perez all seemingly confirm that this is legit, at least most of it is. So this is our movie, this is our post credit scene. Go ahead, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I will say most of this movie is probably meant to be a visually stunning movie, and the person who watched this film and posted the leak saw an unfinished version of the movie. The visual effects were not done. So if you happen to come across what people are saying about this, just keep that in mind. This person saw an incomplete film. Now the trailer for this looks pretty good, and I'm still very excited to watch this movie, and I'm really excited to see the story play out and see Hulk, I mean Red Hulk, fight Sam Wilson's Captain America. So we'll have to wait and see on that, but tell me if you are excited or not to see this movie. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all things with the MCU. And you can also find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.